Hi kids. All right, we're gonna learn. I'm gonna use this little FET simulation to go through ideal gas law and make sure it really, really makes sense for you. Because um, if it if it doesn't make sense, you're gonna struggle in the rest of this unit. So we're gonna click on ideal, and you'll notice I already have I already added some molecules to this. Um, if you want, I could reset. So I start with my empty chamber here. I don't have any molecules, so let's actually add some molecules to it. So I just added 50 heavy molecules to it. Um, and the molecules are going to be bouncing around, you know, causing pressure on the sides. And you can see the pressure is measured here in ATM. If you'd rather have that be Pascal, okay, it's this, so it'd be kilopascal, because remember, to go from ATM to Pascal, you multiply it by 10 to the fifth, which this times 10 to the fifth equals this. Um, we have the temperature in Kelvin. If you'd rather it in Celsius, it's right there. But we'll leave it in Kelvin to Kelvin because that's going to help. Um, and there you have it. So let's talk about um, go through the different things. So we talked about isometric first. Remember, iso same metric, same volume. So let's make the volume be constant. Okay, and let's what see what happens if you add some heat to the gas. Okay, so if I add some heat to the gas then my volume is staying constant and you can see my temperature goes up, my pressure goes up. Okay, so that would be, if you think about on the PV diagram, what's happening, that should make sense. Okay, all right, so let's go back. We're gonna add some particles again. We added 50, oop, I want a few more. Oop, that's too many. Let's try that again. Let's add 50 again. There's 50 particles again. Um, this time we're to do ISO Baric, which means the pressure is going to stay the same. So if the pressure stays the same, so let's keep the pressure the same. So my pressure should stay at 5.8 atm or this many kilopascals. Um, so if I add heat to, to this, okay. Hey, look, my volume went up. Okay. Oops. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. If I decrease this. Oops, great, it's, I, I, I broke it and then it uh, didn't keep the pressure the same. So let's go back. So I wanna keep the, let's keep the, the pressure constant. We're gonna heat it up and then let's cool it down. You can see how the temperature went down, the volume goes down, okay? Uh, if I wanted to do it this way, you know, like let's say I just want it, I wanna keep the pressure the same, well if I, do, if I make this a bigger thing, do you see how it has to heat it? If I make it a smaller thing, it has to cool it down. Okay, isobaric, same pressure. Okay, if I want to keep the temperature the same, well, if I, so the temperature is staying the same, so that if I increase this, okay, you can see if you look at the pressure, do you see how the pressure went down? If I increase this more, do you see how the pressure went down? So the, if the volume goes up, pressure goes down. If this goes down, then the pressure goes up, okay? Isothermal, okay? So, but that's the basic stuff with that. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? Um, if you want to use this and explore with it a little bit more, you can go to here and you can explore and you can kind of see what happens. Later on, you guys are gonna be using the energy stuff. Um, but that should be good for right now. It's an excellent website. Bye, kids.